Oh my god. Oh my god, he's not ready. He's not ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, so we're trying to do a catch and cook here. <laughs> and I hooked a muskie. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. So today, Brandon and I are up in the middle of nowhere up in the north woods of Wisconsin. And we're going to be doing a video that we have never attempted up on the channel. As you read by the title, we're going to be doing a little bit of a walleye catch and cook. Well, at least that's what's planned. So, what we got going on is we got our new canoe, Frontier 12, over here. We are both going to be taking this out, yes, both, in a kayak. I know a lot of people somehow can't understand that we can do this. This new canoe is absolutely top of the line. Highly suggest if you guys are looking for a kayak, check it out. We're going to leave it in the description. We are not sponsored by them. We just absolutely love this kayak. So that's all ready to get out on the water to go after some walleyes. But we're not only going to be doing some fishing, we're also going to be doing some camping. As you can tell, it's almost getting dark out already. So we're going to have to kind of hurry this up and get a tent set up. We're going to have to get some firewood because our goal today is to do the catch and cook over an open fire. So we're going to start getting all that rigged up and ready to go. And then we're going to attempt to go out and catch some walleyes for you guys. So stay tuned. Come along, it should be a great time. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right, well, that did not take long at all. Bag says it takes five minutes. We probably did that in about two and a half, which is not bad. Nick and I have gotten pretty good at putting this thing together but look how cute she looks this is nice all put together this guy opens up all we got to do now is throw our sleeping bags and stuff like that in there we've already got firewood and everything and we've got it all divided come check it out this is our sweet table where we get to eat meals at and uh, we've got all of our firewood here fire pit fire pit somebody's been here we got uh, some small stuff, medium sized stuff, bigger stuff. That's for when the fire really gets going. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and get everything finished, you know, uh, getting assembled and everything like that. We're gonna get all of our stuff down here. And then it's time to get into some fish. So, just got out here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the setup quick before we start. So, I've got the good old Fox River 7.3 medium light spinning rod and then uh, what we're using for bait today good old jig and minnow combo it does not get any easier i've got a moon eye jig from vmc this is a eighth ounce jig neon colored i'm gonna be going ahead tossing the old live bait around so we're gonna be sticking to the shorelines we're gonna be looking for weed edges rocks any sort of structure down trees those kinds of things because that should be exactly where these walleyes are tonight. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find some. Dude, that is an absolute giant if that's a walleye. Oh my god. Oh no, dude, it's a muskie. I swear to god it's a muskie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, look at this! Holy crap. You got this? Oh yeah, it's a muskie. Look at him. Oh, oh my god! He's not ready. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he's dogging underneath the yak. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's not ready, he's not ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys. So we're trying to do a catch and cook here, <laughs> and I hooked a muskie. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's... oh. Also, what's funny about this muskie is that it is Sunday right now. Saturday? Sunday? Monday? One of those days. It's like a day or two after muskie opener. Memorial Day weekend. Oh, he's coming backwards. What the heck? You got him underneath the... Can you get to his head? Can you get to his head? I don't want to tip the yak. Oh, baby. Okay, yeah, guys. So we're in a kayak. We a don't kayak, have a two musky. people. We have a bass fishing net. There you go. You got him, buddy. Nice job. 
Nice net job. Holy cow, that's that's a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> what okay. in the world? Oh, okay, that's a midnight mu midnight musky. Uh, <laughs> Memorial weekend musky opener was just yesterday or day. I don't. I actually don't even know, but I know yeah. it's musky opener. <laughs> and uh, wow, just trying to do a walleye catch and cook and. This guy just came up and gave me a surprise. Wow, that's ridiculous. I thought I had a state record walleye on for a second, but nope. Just a nice, beautiful muskie. Just a tiny one, so. Not gonna spend too much time with it. Water is pretty decently warm, but grab a few picks and then we're gonna release it right away. Should have plenty of energy. It was a crazy fight, but there it goes. And it's just gonna, just gonna gently go off into the, into the dark and continue feeding throughout the night because uh, apparently muskies do that. I'm not a big muskie guy, but uh, apparently they feed at night. So <laughs> we're going to continue trying to walleye fish and see if we can get a few of those uh, for the frying pan. So let's keep at it. Hooked up. Does not feel like a muskie this time. This has got to be a walleye. Oh yeah, there he is. Just a tiny, not tiny, but that is a perfect eater. Oh, barely hooked too. Barely hooked. Got him. There we go. There we go. That is what we were looking for. Guys, this is the size we we're looking for. Oh, hopefully that's 15 inches because they got to be 15 inches up here. I think it will, will be, but. Okay, he was actually hooked pretty decent. All right. Hopefully this one's 15 inches because that would be absolutely perfect for what we're trying to do here. That would be a beautiful one for a catch and cook. I'm going to quick measurement here on this bad boy. Got my handy dandy <laughs> ruler on the side of me quick. Oh yeah, even just a rough estimate, this one's 16 and a half. So that will be perfect. Looked a lot smaller just cause I'm used to catching absolute giants out here, <laughs> but that one will be coming home and we will be doing a catch and cook at an open fire real soon with this one. All right, we're hooked up again, boys. This one feels a little nicer. I don't think this one's gonna be a keeper. Oh my god, that's a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you got a net. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> kind of hard to net it. Here it be. That is just a nice dandy walleye. Second one of the night. Get a measurement on this one, but I do not think this one's going to be part of the catch and cook. And 21 inches. So it is going to be just a little bit too big. Even if it would have been just under 20, I probably would have released this one anyways. But just another nice fish. Yeah, we got our one. I think that's probably going to be it. We've been out here for a little bit. The bite hasn't been extremely hot. We're here for a catch and cook. We also are here to catch walleyes too, but that's not the main focus point. So what we're probably going to do is start heading back to the campsite and start cutting that one up and show you guys how we like to prepare when we're out here in the middle of absolute nowhere. <laughs> there she goes. Right back down to the bottom. All right, now we're going to start heading back and get to cooking. Turns out... Nick lied to you guys. We're not gonna be able to go in until I get this one. Oh my God. Holy cow. This one has some size, I think. The close. There we go. Oh. There we go, baby. Woo, we just couldn't go in until Brando got one. That's a nice one. Check that out, guys. That's a beauty. Beautiful colors to it. Came up and just smoked the old jig. That's awesome. Really, really golden color compared to the other ones we caught. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one unhooked. Maybe snag a qu quick picture, but now it's time we can head in and get ourselves a little fish fry. That's awesome. That's a beauty. All right, let's go ahead and get a release on this girl. There she goes. That's awesome. Now, it's time for us to head to the other side of the lake. We're gonna go ahead and get to shore. We are going to get that nice walleye that Nick caught into the fire. We're gonna warm them up and eat them up. Gonna have ourselves a delicious 
little catch and cook. See you guys there. All right guys, so what we've got going on here is I am starting a fire. Nick is going to start filleting the fish. We've got the good old teepee going for us here. Break a couple more sticks off. This is looking nice. We're gonna get a nice fire going. We're gonna get that fish filleted and we are going to start the good old catch and cook. I am starving. I am stoked. I'm getting smoke in the face. Whew, all right. Time to get that fish filleted, baby. Let's do this. Okay, so we got our nice dandy little walleye here. I'm gonna start cutting into them. Get this baby filleted nice and quick. We don't have any proper tools here. I'm using like a $2 fillet knife that we got from Walmart. She's actually pretty dang sharp, not gonna lie. Don't have anything to really clean this fish on, but we're gonna make her work. Not trying to be a perfectionist out here. A lot of people do this a lot different. I like to go straight down the rib cage, just follow around it, and then fillet down. I know a lot of people will just cut straight into that rib cage, and then once they get the fillet out, they will cut, cut around that, but I think it's easier to just go around it right away so you don't have to do any of that hassle. Boom, just like that. Got a perfect one-sided fillet. I'm gonna get this one going, but once I get it filleted, then I'll turn it over to Brandon. He can show you how we're gonna be preparing this bad boy, cause we got a special surprise for that campfire, and I think this is gonna turn out way better than we've even imagined. So I'm gonna get this going, and we'll get to that next. We got some good coals going on underneath there. That's gonna be good, nice and warm. That's exactly what we want for our fish. Nick has got it all filleted for me here. I got it laid out on some tin foil. Now we're not just doing any normal fish. This is going to be a buttery, delicious, spicy Southwest Chipotle with a little lemon zest walleye. Yeah, you heard that right. I know there's a lot going on there, but so let me show you what we're gonna do here. First off, we've just got some spray butter with us for tonight, which should work perfectly fine. Usually I like to use a good stick of butter, but this will certainly work just fine. So let me go ahead here. I'm gonna lay these babies with a few spritzes of butter. Okay. I'm gonna try and get underneath there just a little bit as well so it yep. doesn't stick too much to the tin foil. That is a power move. That's a power move right there, okay. Now, secondly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this spicy Southwest Chipotle sauce and we're gonna just sprinkle that across all the way across these fish, okay? Just like so, beautiful. You know what, no, never enough. Let's put some more on there, right? You only live once. Really get it seasoned nice and tender, beautiful. Ooh, that is a lot of seasoning, but that's the way I like it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this lemon, all right? I'm gonna slice that right down the middle like so. All right, now that I've got my lemon cut in half, check this out. We're gonna slice it in half one more time. Okay, break that apart. Okay, and now we're gonna cut it into some thin slices, just like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those slices and we're gonna start to lay them right across the fish. So now, what we're gonna do with the other half of your lemon is you're gonna take this and you're gonna give it a good old squeeze, just like so. Look at that, drizzle that right across those fillets. Oh yeah, that is going to be absolutely delicious. And just for good measures, oh my God, that's so <laughs> sour. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna let this fire go down just a little bit more. Spread it open a little bit. We're gonna take the take the fillets, get them onto the coals, because you don't wanna just cook this over an open fire like you would a bunch of hot dogs or something like that. You want this deep into the nice warm coals. That's really gonna get into the into the foil, into the fillets. Really nice and tender. This is gonna be delicious. I got my poker stick with me, and what I've done here is I've opened up a little area for us here where I can go ahead and I can slide our walleye fillets right in here. So, I'm just gonna toss those in there just like so. And 
We haven't figured out how we're going to get them out yet. No, but that, that we don't worry about so much until afterwards. You see, think now, ask questions later. That's, that's my lifestyle, okay? Well, my poker stick is on fire. Woo! Okay, don't try this stuff at home, kids. But now what we're going to do is we're going to let those fillets sit there on the nice warm coals for a little bit. I don't know exactly how long we're going to do it for, and I definitely don't want to start myself on fire. But uh, we're probably going to let these go for about four or five minutes and check them. We might flip them for just a little bit. Right now I've got the lemon sitting on top. That way it soaks into those fillets. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Just nice and tender, gorgeous fillets with a little lemon zest, spicy. Ooh, I am so ready. Dude, I'm starving too. This is going to be so good. Well, we've given the fish about four or five minutes. We're going to go ahead and check it. We did give it the old flipperoo. Now we're going to go ahead and attempt to take this out. <laughs> Two random sticks. It's not looking bad. Oh, <laughs> it's not looking bad. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we got some lemon zest dripping out of there. Check that out, guys. Now that is how a professional does it. I don't want to hear any different. That was pretty good. <laughs> Woo! How good do you think this is going to be, guys? It looks pretty crappy, I'm not going to lie, but trust me, there's some goodness going in there. There is some in there. jolly goodness going on inside of it. Ooh, we got some nice warm coals. Check that out. Let's check it out. Oh, baby. Look at oh, that. Oh my god, if that's not looking like the best fish you've ever freaking seen. Oh man. Oh baby. Look at how white and tender that looks. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks absolutely delicious. I think that is absolutely spot on. I'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> right now. I don't think Nick and I did too bad. All right, we're gonna now it comes this. down to the main point. Yeah, we got to go ahead and give this just a second to cool down. But let's go ahead and maybe walk this over. Hopefully, this isn't too hot. No, we should be good. Let's go ahead and we're gonna walk this right over to our beautiful little dinner table here. Okay, check this out. All right, fork for Nick, fork for me. This is where it gets interesting right here. Voila. Wasn't there we as, go. Wasn't as gorgeous as I was hoping it would be, but Look man. Look at that. Ooh. Test how flaky it is. Is it flaky? Oh, oh yeah. baby, that looks so good. That looks so good. The lemons are caramelized just perfectly. Super flaky, white, tender walleye fillets. Mwah! It doesn't get any better, baby. All right, Nick. Go ahead and hit me All right. with the first bite. Mmm, so many delicious pieces to choose from. That thinking, looks like a good piece right I'm there. I'm thinking this right here though. Alright. Alright, here we go. It's probably going to be really hot. Just right. Just right? That is good. <laughs> yeah. That is extremely good. Alright, let's go ahead and try this out. Nick says it's a 10 out of 10. Here we go. Oh my god. Dude, it just like falls apart in your mouth. That is just, that's perfect. That's perfect. Look at these lemons. Perfectly caramelized, Lilith. Little, mm, little hint of sour, a little spicy. That doesn't get any better. That's healthy, delicious. Only took a couple minutes. It only takes a couple minutes, and it's a perfect little survival trip up here. We're camping. We didn't bring crap for food, so what do you do? You just go out in the wilderness, find a lake, find fish, and fry them right up. We're doing more catch and cooks. That's what's happening. That's amazing. Come on, before I eat all this, come on, try this. It's so good. Well, there's absolutely nothing left on that plate. That was super, super good, guys. That was delicious, honestly. Uh, you, there's many ways that you could go about... Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a toad in the fire. Bro. Oh, that's, no. That's way too hot. You got to get out of there, buddy. <laughs> Did he survive? He survived. Take a hop. He's going to make it. Come on, buddy. Give me a little something, something. Yeah, he's going. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's good. Save the day. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, we absolutely polished off all of those walleye plays like 
it was nothing. They were absolutely delicious. Perfectly white and flaky, little lemon zest. That was awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys wanted to do something similar, we would highly suggest it. Uh, just give that fish four or five minutes on some nice warm coals. If you're out here camping, there's nothing better. And there's multiple ways of going about it. You guys could throw a little salt and pepper on there. If you didn't want something quite as spicy, garlic and herb would go a long way. Many ways to do it. I prefer it with a little lemon zest. Nick, sounds like you liked it as yep. well. It's pretty oh, yeah. good. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. We might spend a few minutes around the nice warm campfire and then we're gonna hit the hay. But we just wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining us today. We had a lot of fun and if you guys enjoyed, make sure to one, give it a thumbs up and two, let us know down in the comments below what else you guys would like to see. We'd love to do more of these catch and cook videos and maybe shake things up a little bit and try something different. So go ahead and let us know what you guys would like to see down in the comment section below. We would greatly appreciate it. For anybody new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. We've got all kinds of fun camping and fishing videos for you guys coming up this summer and all throughout the year. So we're gonna go ahead, wrap things up. But thank you guys so much for joining us today. As always, Tight Lines from ND Edits. I'm not